Ever since the advent of the modern personal computer, the promise of a paperless office has been omnipresent. To date, that promise hasn't been fully realized. Even with tablets that are excellent reading devices, we still have times when we need to get that information from the screen and put it onto paper. Till recently, that hasn't been very easy. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now. Let's go hands-on with printing support, one of the lesser-known features that comes with Android 4.4 KitKat. This is my Nexus 5, but what I'm about to show you will work on any device that is running Android version 4.4 or above. See, one of the new features with KitKat is a plug-in architecture. The one we're going to show you today is the printing infrastructure, and that lets you set up various printing services. The one that comes kind of default and stock with pretty much every version of Android is Google's own Cloud Print, which lets you use their cloud printing service to print to any printers that you've got set up there. Today I'm going to show you a different one. It's the HP Print Service plugin, but any other print manufacturer that has a plugin in the Play Store will work just fine and it'll show up in here. So what I've done before this video is I went out to the Play Store and I downloaded and installed the HP Print Service plugin. And that's pretty much all I had to do. Once that's installed, then we come over here and turn it on. Do we want to use this? Our document may pass through one or more servers on its way to our printer. Now the reason for that is this device is connected to a wireless network, my printer is connected to another network, or possibly the same network, but for the processing it may go all the way out to HP and back in. So we'll go ahead and say OK to that. Right now it's searching my local Wi-Fi network for printers, and it should find the printer that I have sitting just behind me. If it takes a little bit longer than you think it should to find your printer, make sure your printer's turned on and that it hasn't gone into its sleep mode which mine had. Once I turned that back on, everything was fine. It detected the printer really fast, and I'm good to go. You can see here it's using the uh, print service plugin that we just downloaded and installed previously, so that's good. If you want to turn this off, you can just by toggling that. If you did not find your printer, you can add it over here by IP address or by name, so that's nice, but ours is all set up, so we don't need to worry about that. What I do want to show you is the settings, because this is kind of robust, and that's why I like using this plugin over some of the others out there. Let's go ahead and go into settings. You can change the protocol if you want to change from the default to the EPCL protocol. This is not the default setting, but you can. I don't have any reason to do it, so I've just left that off. My printer has a duplexer, so I can print to both sides of the page. I like that. It saves me on paper. So you know, save a tree or just be cheap and don't buy as much paper, Wh whatever, I don't care. But I can do that very simply and I can toggle that on and off if I want. There's nothing worse than having just really, really blotchy print jobs come out. So this will show me a notification when the ink in the cartridges is low. If I want to, I can share the data of my usage with HP services. I've opted not to do that because that's just extra data that is flying across what I'm already paying for, so I'm not getting anything extra from it from HP, so I've just chosen not to. Of course, I've got the obligatory application versions and the legal stuff, but that's pretty much it. Now, all we have to do is find something to print and print it. That's where Android KitKat really excels, as opposed to some of the other apps. For example, what I had before was the HP ePrinter selection, which if I can come back in here, you can use ePrint and it does essentially the same thing, but everything you print has to be done through the app, this app, rather than the app that you're trying to print from. Let me show you what I mean. I fired up Quick Office and I've created a new document. Let's go ahead and open that up again. It's gonna open it from my Google Drive. It says, hello world. Let's go ahead and change that to hello pocket now. complete with spelling mistakes and all. So that's good, let's go ahead and save that change. Let's go ahead and save it in place. There we go, we're all done. If this were the old HP printing app, or if you're trying to print from a non-KitKat device, you're going to have to exit this app, open the HP app, open this in that app, and then print. 
very kludgy. Here, we simply go up to our menu, hit print. It brings up our print dialog, which we can now change what printer we want to save it to, uh, or send it to rather, our printer or save it as a PDF or look at an all printers list. So very nice there, especially with the PDF integration. We want to send it there, so we'll leave that. We only want one copy, but we could select more if we wanted to. We can print this in color or in black and white. This is just black and white, so I'm gonna select that. Orientation, we can change. And the paper size, which letter is what we want. Now all I have to do is hit print. And if you can hear over my shoulder, that document is coming out right now. So that's how you set up wireless printing from your Android powered device. Again, remember this is just with Android 4.4 KitKat. Anything below that and your options are relatively proprietary and not nearly as smooth and as integrated into the operating system as they are with the latest version of Android. If you liked what you saw here and want to see more tips like these, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on those when we do release them. We're also on your favorite social media networks. You can tell your friends all about us there. Over on Twitter, we're at PocketNow, and I'm at Joe Levi. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Joe Levi for PocketNow, and if I had people not making noises outside my door, that would have been a good take.